Welcome. Today, we're going to identify parallelograms using coordinate points. Let's start by understanding the task. We are given four different coordinate points, and if we plot them down in our coordinate plane, we're going to create a quadrilateral. Now, is that quadrilateral a parallelogram? Well, let's start by plotting down those points. Now let's connect those points. Let me make those points a little bit bolder. By connecting those points, we have created our four-sided figure. And now let's think about what conditions need to be met in order for us to call this quadrilateral a parallelogram. Well, if this four-sided figure is a parallelogram, then it has to fit the definition of a parallelogram. And we know that in a parallelogram, opposite sides are parallel to each other. Now, how can we show that lines are parallel to each other? Well, we know that parallel lines have the same slope. So now we have a strategy. Now we can choose two opposite sides. We're going to take a look at their slope. And if they're equal, then we know that they're parallel. So now let's label our sides. Let's call this side one. Let's call this side two. Let's call this side three. And let's call this side four. Side one and side three are opposite from each other. Now let's calculate the slope for each one of them individually. And let's see if they have the same slope. So let's calculate the slope of line one. Let's find the difference of y's. And let's divide by the difference of x. Three on the top. Here we have minus and minus, which is a plus. So we have three. So we can see that the slope of line one is one. Let's calculate the slope of line three. Difference of y's. So four minus one. Over the difference of x's. Four minus one. So we got three over three, which is one. Notice that line one and line three have the same slope, so therefore they are parallel. Now let's find the slope of side two and let's find the slope of side four. If they're parallel as well, then we know we have a parallelogram. Let's find the difference of y's, eight minus four. And let's divide it by the difference of x's, two minus four. That is 4 over negative 2, which is just negative 2. Now let's find the slope of the fourth line. Difference of y's, 5 minus 1. Divided by the difference of x's, negative 1 minus 1. Now notice that line 2 has the same slope as line 4. Therefore, they are parallel. What we have shown is that opposite lines are parallel to each other. Side one was parallel to side three. They have the same slope. Side four was parallel to side two because they have the same slope. Then we can conclude that ABCD is a parallelogram. We have shown that opposite sides are parallel to each other, which is the definition of a parallelogram. Welcome. If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.